the facility at Texas A&M University is one of the few places the U.S. could actually turn to in order to produce an Ebola treatment. Yeah, KXHD News reporter Tashar Barker was on campus today when Texas Governor Rick Perry delivered the news. Tashar, sounds like the Aggies are up against a few others who could also produce the treatment. Right, Amanda, Governor Perry and Texas A&M Health Science Center CEO Dr. Brett Gerard announced today that they are up against two others to produce the Ebola treatment called ZMAP. The Texas A&M Center for Innovation in Advanced Development and Manufacturing is where the treatment could be developed and tested. We live in a global society where an epidemic anywhere is a threat to everywhere. The newly appointed director of the Texas Task Force on Infectious Diseases, Dr. Brett Gerard and Governor Rick Perry, stopped by the Texas A&M University Center for Innovation in Advanced Development and Manufacturing Wednesday. Together they announced where the university stands in the fight against Ebola. Over the past few weeks, we have been concentrating on developing uh, plans for a stronger, faster, response to an occurrence of Ebola. Governor Perry says Texas A&M is currently competing against two other specialized facilities to produce one of the most promising Ebola drugs, ZMAP. There is no place in the world that can do this more expeditiously or appropriately than this building that we are standing in right now. If Texas A&M is chosen, this is the area where individuals will be trained who will also be tasked with producing the Ebola treatment. So what's next for us here in our urgent fight against Ebola? First, in partnership with Emory University, the Texas A&M Health Science Center is rapidly advancing a novel new Ebola vaccine that has already proven effective in animal models. Governor Perry mentioned that he spoke with the president last week about Texas A&M's ability to produce an Ebola treatment. The university has until November 10th to submit the proposal to the federal government. Dr. Gerard stresses that there is still a lot of work to be done on vaccines and therapeutics, but he does believe the Texas A&M Center for Manufacturing is well prepared to handle production for just about any of the treatments and or vaccines proposed by the federal government.